Hi guys and welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is by request. Someone wanted to know some stuff about the Dukes of Hazard. So what we're going to do is we're going to, what happened to the actors from the Dukes of Hazard? Let's take a look. Okay, let's start uh, with Tom Walpat, who played Luke Duke. Uh, Luke, played by Walpat, was the oldest of the Duke boys, and he was viewed as the more responsible of the pair. Now, after portraying Luke in the Dukes of Hazard, he continued to act on stage in the small screen. He also released several singles as a musical artist, including an album in 2017. Most recently, he's acted in an episode of The Blacklist and started in uh, the movies County Line, All In, and County Line, No Fear. John Schneider, who played Bo Duke uh, back then, uh, he played, uh, Bo was played by John Schneider. Uh, was the younger and freer spirited of the Duke boys. Bo's headstrong attitude contributed to the string of trouble that often followed the Dukes. Nowadays, Schneider uh, kept steady work as an actor and notably appeared in Smallville and TV film projects after his famous role. He also released several country singles in the 80s, which performed well. And most recently, the actor appeared on Dancing with the Stars in 2018, and in 2020, 2021, he started uh, Christmas in Tune alongside Reba McIntyre. Catherine Bach, who played Daisy Duke. Back then, Daisy, played by Catherine Bach, played the Duke brothers in many shorts, uh, loving cousin, uh, who worked as a waitress. Uh, her naive and sweet nature sometimes played a part in the family's endless adventures and trouble. Nowadays, uh, Catherine's role in the Dukes of Hazard created a sex symbol. Following the show's success, she insured her legs for a million dollars. She also posed for a poster that sold over a million copies, or five million copies. Since her famous role, she has been a working actress, and in 2012, she landed a recurring role on The Young and the Restless. Denver Pyle, played by, uh, played Uncle Jesse Duke. Um... Back then, Uncle Jesse, played by Denver Pyle, was a former moonshine runner and the Duke's family patriarch. Now, it has never revealed how Bo, Luke, and Daisy's parents died. Viewers uh, knew that Jesse raised the Duke kids. Um, now, uh, Pyle has, had already built up a very long and successful career as an actor when he landed the role of Uncle Jesse. At the time of filming, uh, he was already 60 years old. After Dukes of Hazard came to an end in 85, he retired from full-time acting, died on Christmas Day in 97, and is rumored to be buried in an unmarked grave next to his second wife's parents. He was 77 years old. Mr. James Best, uh, Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. Back then, Sheriff Roscoe, played by James Best, was a bumbling and corrupt sheriff who regularly plotted against the Duke family. Schemes against the Duke brothers often ended in over-the-top car chases. Uh, Best had a very long resume in TV and film before he landed his role in the Dukes of Hazard. After the show ended, he wrote, directed, and performed in stage productions and even taught his craft to young hopefuls in Los Angeles workshops. Died on April 6th of 2015. He was 88 years old. Sorrell Book uh, played uh, Boss Hogg. Uh, back then, Boss Hogg, played by Sorrell Book, Brook, uh, was a mischievous county commissioner of Hazard County. He's also the richest man in the county with a standing feud with Uncle Jesse, which stemmed from their days as moonshiners. Uh, he was a classically trained method actor, which degrees from Yale and Columbia. He had a long uh, theater, TV, and movie career before his role of Boss Hogg. After the show ended, uh, he continued voice work but retired from the screen. He died of cancer in 94. Ben Jones, who played Cooter Davenport. Back then, Cooter, played by Ben Jones, was a laid-back character who owned his local garage. Cooter was an honorary Duke and often helped the Duke family in their opposition against Boss Hogg and Roscoe. Uh, ben Jones stepped aside from acting to run for political office. He was elected in Georgia as a Democrat and represented the state for four years in the United States House of Representatives. Since this, uh, he has returned to acting part-time. There's also several museums dedicated to the show. And the only one I'm missing that I'm going to do a, a video on his own is uh, Enos. I think he deserved one. Uh, what I've always thought was cool, too, is James Best and uh, Denver Pyle, both on the Dukes of Hazard and both from the Andy Griffith show. And I loved 
all four characters. I mean, they just they did so well. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. If you don't mind, please subscribe over here and please share these out with your family and friends. I'd appreciate it. Uh, help me get some viewership up, up, up. Thank you very much. Have a great day. God bless you. And as always, I'll be praying for you.